So we're going to start by priming our canvas with gesso. This will allow us to paint on a smooth surface without sticking with our brush. And today we're going to create a lake painting and I really wanted to showcase this with cheaper paints that you can use without having to spend a lot of money. And now we're going to go ahead and start by taping the sides of our canvas. This will allow us to have a border around it and not to go over this border. And the colors that we're going to be using are white, black, a bright blue, crimson, and a bright yellow. And to start this off, we're going to combine bright blue and white so we can create a sky blue shade. When we start putting this onto our canvas, we want to make sure that the color is even, there are no blotchiness or white parts coming out or even streaks from the brush. So you want to make sure that you have enough paint on your brush, that your brush isn't wet, and to just combine these colors until they are faded together. Now we're gonna take a number eight round brush and dip it into our white paint, and we're gonna create some clouds in this sky. Now when doing this, you want to kind of just tap the round brush onto the canvas and just spread it out and once you get to the tail of the cloud you kind of want to just as a line and going out you kind of want to fade it out don't want any harsh lines like a cloud is just light and airy Now we're going to combine our bright blue and black. This is going to create a blue grade shade and we're going to use this to create a mountain. Now when creating a mountain, you have to remember that mountains are strong. They are the tall things of this earth. You don't want any harsh lines, but you do want profound lines. You want to go up to the right of our canvas and slowly make your way down as if you're going down into a valley. Now, since we filled that mountain in, we're gonna create, we're gonna put a little bit more black into that shade we just created. And we're gonna make a second mountain underneath that. Now using that shade we created for the second mountain, we're gonna create some low light, some shaded areas of the first mountain that we created. On the other side of our canvas, we're gonna use the same color as the second mountain, but create a mountain on the left side that comes down right next to the other sides of our mountain. the color white and a pointy brush we're going to create some highlights on the mountain you want to focus on where your light is coming from so in my painting it is coming from the left side so I'm putting the white on the left side of the mountains
now we should let this dry and once you've let that dry we're gonna put a piece of tape in between so that we can create the bottom portion of this painting we're gonna combine blue and bright yellow to make an aqua shade as of a lake Before for a sky, we want to make sure that our lake is clear, no blotches. And with our aqua shade, we're going to add a little bit more white and we're going to highlight this lake from the top area so that we can show that this lake has some shine to it that has some dimension. dry for a few minutes we can take off the tape and have a crisp line. Now we're gonna create a green shade using blue and yellow and we're gonna create some trees on top of this mountain. color we created we're gonna add a little bit of black to it so we can add some dimension to our trees we have two tones of trees now we're gonna combine crimson and yellow together and we're gonna create kind of a bank for these trees to be sitting on now just as before when we created the trees we're gonna create those trees inside the lake creating a reflection onto the lake. a flat brush and we're gonna swoop up to create some bushes so as we are standing on the other side of this lake you can go crazy with this you make it as exactly as you want As we had before with our green shade, we're going to add a little bit of black to that. We're going to create some dimension for our bushes. Now we are going to combine crimson and yellow and we're going to create some little flowers on top of these bushes. You want to use a round brush and kind of just tap around in a circle leaving a little bit of space in between. Just going to take the color yellow and we're going to fill in those little spaces that we left behind with this yellow to represent the middle of the flower. take a very small pointy brush and dip it in white so we can create some highlights some sparkle on our lake and also create a line uh, by our trees in the bank so we can show that this is the water now 
we're going to take a bigger round brush and we're going to create a circle on top and kind of show some rays of light going down onto our painting. <music> Lastly, we get to finally take off that tape because we are done painting and oh, how satisfying is that? Just watching that peel off the canvas. Congratulations, we finished our lake painting and I really hope you were able to do it with me.